So I did push this template up. If you look in apps for the Unraid users, if you look in new apps, you'll see the Hass.io supervisor. Now, it is for testing purposes, and there's one little quirk. So if you do currently have a Home Assistant install, make sure and do backup any of your configurations in case you mess up, take screenshots of stuff. You just, just make sure and you can go back to stuff in case. Um, so I'm stopping it because of the port and it's gonna install as the default 8123 and I need to free up that port. So we'll install the Hass.io supervisor. We'll do install and leave all of this as, as default. And it's gonna install as long as you're fine with it installing to Hass.io on your uh, app data folder. And just make sure and match those two up. And you can look at these other settings. Leave these the same. This is what me and uh, Whiskers had to go through. And just hit apply. And it, it'll pull down the supervisor. Now it's not gonna work right off the bat. It will, it will show you it finished successfully. And this is the part that maybe we can try to, I, I'm gonna work on it more and see if I can figure this out and see you know, why it does this weird stuff. We, we messed around with this for several hours and finally did get it going. So on the dashboard, you'll notice that the Home Assistant's running, but the supervisor is not. So if we check the logs, so it'll, it, it basically fails and it stops running. And we were getting this error in, with this like version landing page. And so what you'll wanna do, and I know this sounds weird, maybe there's a different way. I've tried restarting, I tried updating them, I tried stopping, everything. What you wanna do is come in here to Docker and you'll see the supervisor is not running. Is I found, and this, and this, this sounds weird, is I go in here and edit this. I change, and this, I, I, I make a real simple edit. I'm talking a stupid edit and it works. Just, I think it's something with the timing of that, that container is not there and then it, the supervisor fails. It's something with the timing of it and I found that if I get to refresh the Docker, it works fine. So I just simply add a letter on the description and it pre-pulls the container and starts fine. So we'll hit done. And then we'll go to dashboard. And you'll see now home assistant's running and the supervisor's running. And when we check the logs, give it a second sometimes, but you'll see down here, it's saying it's setting up how SIO is, is running, set up home assistant, it's trying to pull an image and Give it a second. I think you see it right there. It's going to say start home assistant. Start with version 931. And then it says cleaning up images. And it should go to show running here in a second, I believe. It was what else I saw. So you give it a little bit. And then you should be able to go to the IP of the Unraid server along with port 8123. And you should see the onboarding page. So this is, and this, this is, let's just make sure and refresh it. Now you can see here's the onboarding. I'll just do digiblur and do test, test is the password. And we'll create account and we'll hit finish. So you'll notice now you have the Hass.io tab and you can come in here and run snapshots and you can go to the add-on store. So let's go to Visual Studio Code right here. And we'll hit install. And it doesn't take that long because it just pulls that container down and we'll go through. And I've installed several different things. Now some stuff that um, 
several different things I've tried. I'll probably still run outside of, like, you know, I'm not going to install, I'm be honest with you, I'm not going to install Plex inside Hass.io. I, that's too easy to install in Tango. Uh, not Tango, in uh, Unraid. That's what I call my box, by the way. Um, so, but some of the stuff that's integrated to more tightly with Home Assistant, you would probably use those own add-on, you know, as an add-on inside. So you can see now this is that Visual Studio code. It's not started. And I'll show you what's cool is you look in Docker. We'll make sure and refresh this page. I'll swear down to the bottom. And you can see it, the supervisor actually pulled from Hass.io add-ons VS code for the for 64-bit. And it pulled it for the latest. And it shows as an orphaned image. Well, as soon as I come in here and do a start on the Visual Studio code, you'll see that now we refresh this page, that orphaned image is gone and it's towards the top. And now you'll see, here's that add-on, VS Code AMD64, and it started, and it also shows update, update ready all the time as well. And it actually shows all the mappings and everything and the CPU. It does show the CPU usage and the memory load, et cetera. Uh, and I wouldn't let, I wouldn't manage the ones that Hass.io brings in. Don't manage them yourself using the GUI. Let the supervisor do its job of managing these add-ons. Otherwise, you could potentially break stuff. So when, you'll notice now that it started, we can come, you, just like with regular Hass.io, you can come in here and hit refresh. You can see the logs. It started the whole nine, the whole nine yards. Um, and you can open the web GUI, and here's Visual Studio code that's actually inside of Hass.io using that, that the, the add-on. It's, the, you can see all that, the add-ons work. You can come and do the snapshots. Um, Let's see, let's do one, let's do May 18th. And we'll do a full snapshot and we'll hit create. And let's see if this works. I haven't tried snapshots, we'll see if this works. Oh, there it is, full, full snapshot six, six seconds ago. Yep, there it is. So the only other weird thing I've seen with in with is on system it does show the it doesn't know what the hardware is i believe um i guess it does it does the it does show it and also another big plus is and i know someone asked this and i have tested it i just don't have one easily accessible without going behind the screen and stuff i did install the esp home add-on but I had to stop my other one because of the HTTP port. And I was able to plug a Node MCU into my Unraid box and get it to see it. You'll notice I do have, there's USB 1 and USB 0. That's actually the, the Z-Wave uh, Zigbee stick that I have plugged in the front of the box. So it's actually seeing that. So you should be able to use, if you use Z-Wave and Zigbee USB sticks, you could also use it with the Hass.io Unraid docker install as well like this without any issues plus can flash in all your stuff with esb home or whatever else you decide to use usb i don't know if there's any other ones inside add-ons um one thing a couple things i would caution i i don't i just don't know if the, you they could con conflict with anything because of the way you're running this on unraid i probably myself would not come in here and install um, anything like his DHCP servers or um, I wouldn't install the Samba. I wouldn't install SSH because we already have SSH and all that stuff anyway. You might start getting port conflicts and you already have Samba and everything that's actually in Unraid itself. Yeah, and that's basically how Hass.io does work is it's a full set of Docker containers. So there's the... This super Asio super supervisor, that's not my Docker container. That is actually the true supervisor. Cause you can see that this this actually just links to, and this isn't maintained by me. This is maintained by uh, Pascal and Paulus and everybody all that that do that. Um, 
so you, this is actually the, the official supervisor just points a template to it. And we're just using the 64-bit one. And then we had to pass in some stuff when we do pull the exact Docker container that is for actually for the 64-bit Intel Nook. So as you can see, the, the name here is Intel Nook. And then the, as you add do add-ons, those are just Docker containers, basically. I think, don't quote me on all of them. I'm not very familiar with all the add-ons, but most of them are Docker containers that run, and that's even on the Pi. So you just don't see it. It's very transparent to the user. I know I blew through it real quick. Trying to get that out the way before the time before my time runs out for showing the Docker container stuff with Hassio and Unraid, and and that that would have been possible without uh, Whiskers helping me out with that, and he was very determined to get it done. And that was he had never even really seen Unraid until we just until I, I showed him on a remote remote session. So 